Hey everyone, Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to continue on with the simple PayPal shopping cart plugin demonstration, and I wanted to specifically talk about shipping, the different shipping options that you have available. And first of all, we want to jump to settings and then WP shopping cart so we can look at some of the different options. We can set a base shipping cost, and what this is, um, we can set a value that, regardless of how many products are in the shopping cart, as long as they have, as long as they're not digital products, then if they're in the shopping cart, regardless of how many, then we can set it so that there's a base shipping cost here. So now the ship the, like each product can have an individual shipping cost as well as a base shipping cost so the only way that the base shipping cost is actually used though is if the individual products that are in the cart have a shipping cost so if you want um, the shipping cost to only be five dollars regardless of how many products are in there then you have to give those those products um, a small value um, for their shipping costs. I'll, g I'll, I'll explain what I'm talking about here. So to add shipping, all we would have to do is add a parameter to this uh, short code so we can add shipping equals. So since this is a digital product, in general there would be no shipping. But for this demonstration, I'm going to pretend that there is a shipping cost. Now, if we want to keep the shipping at just $5 and that's it, like I said, this has to have a value or else this will not trigger. So what we can do is make the value small enough where it won't affect the shipping cost, but it will trigger the, the addition of the shipping cost. Okay, so let's uh, save that. So now that there's a shipping cost value, then this base shipping cost will be used. So let me update these options here, and then we can see how it affects the cart. Okay, so I'm going to add it to the cart, and so there should be a $5 shipping cost. Okay, there we go. We see it right there, so I'm going to close that out. And I just want to demonstrate this a little bit further that if this value did not exist, and it, whereas it wouldn't, if you had a mixture of, um, in, your sh in your product line, if you had a mixture of digital products and physical products, of course you wouldn't want the base shipping cost to, to be triggered. So in that case, if you have a digital product like this one here, then you would just leave shift shipping empty, or you can set it to zero. And in that case, when you add it to the the five dollars won't be added see the five dollars isn't added there and that's because like I said there's no shipping cost within this within this short code now if you wanted to charge a flat shipping cost per item then what you can do is you can it's just it's just like I showed here you just create a value so like say each of these products say if it was a let's assume for example sake this is a physical product and we want to charge a dollar shipping for every time this project is purchased but we don't want to add a, a base shipping cost to that we can put we can set the base shipping cost back down to zero and then of course just create a shipping cost on a per item basis so now when we add this product to the cart there should be a a one dollar shipping cost and that's because that's based on the shipping cost that was specified here and we didn't specify a base shipping cost so that's why it shows up here as a dollar Okay, and then other than that, we can we can have with, there's a setting for free shipping for orders over a certain amount. So, so even though our product is a dollar, our shipping is a dollar for this product, we set it so that if someone purchased something over two dollars, that would they get free shipping. Does 
then we can take a look at so this should be no shipping cost now even though this product is set for a dollar we set it so that there's free shipping for anything over two dollars so when we add this to the card there shouldn't be any shipping cost at all okay so now let's set that back and the third option here is what we can do is set it up so that PayPal handles the shipping. They can determine where where in the world the customer is. Um, so you might want to force the collection of shipping the shipping address and then set it up. Now you can for they could force uh, they can check where in the world the the customer is and then base shipping on that. And you can also set up table rates. Um, depending on your country, that you have different options for pro profile-based shipping and PayPal. And you can set up different rates. Um, you can specify like based on the dollar value in the cart, for example. And you can charge shipping based on that amount. Um, there's there's a variety of options. You have more options for um, if you're a U.S. vendor than you do for other countries. But um, more options are becoming available all the time. There's a article and a how-to video right on the tips and tricks HQ website where you can where you can see um, how to how to set all that up and what the different options are for that um, so all you really have to do within the W within the uh, PayPal shopping cart plugin is just um, turn on these two features here must collect shipping address on PayPal use PayPal profile based shipping turn that on and that'll override any of the uh, base shipping costs and the, uh, and the individual shipping costs. And it'll just um, take from whatever you set up on PayPal. All right, that's all there is to it. Again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night.